Hey internet, this is Jacob Clifford. Right now I'm heading back to my old high school to test out one of the main assertions of the famous economist Milton Friedman. So grab your goggles and your lab coat. It's time to run an experiment. So I have for you seven different things that you can pick. Of these seven things, you get to pick one of them. Then what we're gonna do is after you pick it, he's gonna switch with you and he's gonna try to pick the one that he thinks you wanted most. And if he's right, then you get that thing. It's that simple. Go ahead and point to the one you want the most of these seven items. Now viewers, you can actually run this experiment as well. Just pick one of these items and ask a family member or a friend to come in and guess what you chose. And be sure to tell me what happened in the comments below because it's very likely that your result will be much like many of these students. Switch spots. What do you think Emily wants the most? Pop the pop tart. Was she right? No. No, she wanted the- Tell me. What did you want? The money. <laughs> Was he right? He wants the pop tarts. Pop tarts? No. No. <laughs> was it right? It was wrong. Darn it. No. He was not right. Interesting. It was not the dollar. What was it? It was the Fritos. <laughs> Orange. Well, that's close to Fritos. What, what do you think? Is that right? You love Gators. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Actually, in our experiment, only about one fourth of the students correctly guessed what the other student wanted. The Gatorade! Well done! You're right! Good job! The dollar! Good job! Well done! He's correct! Congratulations! Well done! Is he right? Yay! There you go! Well done! Now, here's where it gets really interesting. I gave several students envelopes with money, but it wasn't theirs to keep. This is not your money to keep. Anything you don't use has to go back in the envelope. And again, they had to figure out what the other student wanted, but this time I threw in a twist. How much you got in there? Right, say it out loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five. You have five bucks. All right, five bucks to work with. All right, you go ahead and pick. All right, that's your pick, no doubt about it. All right, go ahead and let's switch spots. Okay, which one do you think she wants? The Pop-Tarts, they're not a dollar anymore, they're actually three dollars. Are you willing to pay three dollars for it out of your envelope? How much are the brownies? That's a great question, that's a great question. If I had prices for each one, that might actually adjust yours. They're all three dollars. Oh, it's an expensive water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, I'll still go with the Pop-Tarts. All right, three dollars, gotta take three dollars. Yes. Perfect, three dollars. Pop-Tarts, was he right? Mm -hmm. No, what do you want? Oh my The brownie! God. You stay here for a second. Something big happened right there and you might not have noticed it. Did you notice it? How much does he value the Pop-Tarts? No, 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 no. Back up. We already established earlier. That one? All right. Perfect. Less than a dollar. How do you know? Remember, he went up earlier. What, what did he say? I wanted a dollar. He'd rather have a dollar. He, that means he does not value these as much as a dollar. Do you agree? But how much did you just pay for the brownies? Three dollars. That seems irrational. <laughs> Why did he pay three dollars for something that he himself just said he would never pay a dollar for? Yeah. I think it's because I'm not the one that's getting in, so, and this money isn't mine, so it's not like it ma matters to me. <laughs> that was, I'm going to use that 100%. That clip is going to be 100% in my video. If it was his money, he'd be like, no, I don't know. But it's not his money. It's out of some random envelope. And we have some money from some random entity. I might as well spend a little bit more. Not only did he spend too much money on something, according to his own willingness to spend, but he also bought the wrong thing for the other person. And he wasn't the only one. Every single person that was given an envelope of money was willing to pay higher prices. Uh, was the Gatorade right? No, it was incorrect. But what does this have to do with Milton Friedman and economics? Well, here you go. There's a guy named Milton Friedman. He said that you can spend money in four ways. You can spend either your own money or somebody else's money, and you can either spend it on yourself or spend it on somebody else. For example, when you spend your money on yourself, what do you do? You go to the mall, you got 20 bucks. How do you spend that money? Carefully. On what? Carefully! <laughs> I love the word. You spend it carefully. What happens when you buy things for other people? You, you spend your money on other people. What do we notice about gift giving? It's hard. It's hard. Why is it hard? Why? Because it's really hard for you to factor the benefits and costs for other people, but you can do it for yourself really easy. Now, the other options, if you can see on here, when you spend somebody else's money, what happens when you spend somebody else's money on yourself? Let's say your boss goes, oh, hey, go ahead and have lunch on me. And you go, here's 30 bucks. Bring me back the change. What do you do? You buy a $30 lunch. You get exactly what you want, but what ends up happening? 
you overpay for it. You have a tendency to overpay. Not 100% of the time, but a lot of time. The last situation, what happens, like we saw, when you spend somebody else's money on somebody else? What happens to the price? It goes, it goes really high. And what happens to the quality or the chance of getting it exactly right? It's very low. What entity does that all the time? What entity takes other people's money and spends it on other people? The government. Friedman was against creating a large, expansive government that decide what to produce and how to produce it and who gets it. He admitted that politicians and bureaucrats often have noble intentions, but the results of their decisions will never be as efficient and effective as free markets. And one of his most popular quotes was, nobody spends someone else's money as carefully as he spends his own. Not only did he spend too much money on something, according to his own willingness to spend, but he also bought the wrong thing for the other person. Do you agree? That's the problem. So do you agree or disagree with Milton Friedman? Do you want a bigger government or a limited government? And let me know in the comments. Also, let me know if you did the experiment and if someone was able to guess uh, what you wanted. Also, I want to send a huge thank you to Miss Bogart and the seniors at Sample School High School for letting me go in there and work with you. I had a blast. Thank you so much. It was awesome. Now, remember that this is the first of a series of videos I'm going to be making about Milton Friedman and his libertarian views about the economy. So make sure to like and subscribe and come back later for some more videos, okay? Until next time.